Hi Taurus, welcome to your singles reading for June. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So this is intended for singles looking for a new love. Um, it could be your next date, it could be your next future partner, your next lover, your future ex, who knows. I'm just going to take it as it comes here and um, see what we get. So this is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading. If you would like a private reading, all that information is below as well as your playlist. So if this doesn't resonate for you, you can check past readings. Playlist for your love is down below. You can find it under there. Feel free to go back and watch. If you do have a connection with somebody but you're not together, I do have regular love readings on my channel, which looks more at a connection that you have already have with someone, whether you're together or not. Feel free, again, to check under the love playlist to find uh, your love readings. And we'll see. Let's see here, Taurus. Let's see what we have for you. I hope everybody's well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Welcome, welcome. So Taurus, we want to do here, especially if you are new, we're going to get this person's overall energy with this deck. And then we'll get their spirit and soul energy with this deck. And then with the Romance Angels, we'll get their love energy. And then we'll combine that energy together to kind of get an overall feel of this person. And then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot. And then we'll look into how you would feel about one another, if there'll be any blocks, challenges, and then advice, guidance, possible outcome. And uh, if I see time frame or where, when, how, whatever, you may meet this person. I'll say, I'll go over the signs that I see, but they literally could be anybody. So let's see what we have here for Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. Lots of info down below in the description box. So feel free to check that out. And if you're new, feel free to check out my channel. And if you like what you see, you get about four readings a month, sometimes five if you get the bonus. And all my readings are different, so there is something for everybody. And if you do, subscribe, hit the bell. Thank you, and welcome to the family. And you can like, share. If you like comments, uh, comments are disabled. I have disabled them, which is too many problems with the comments, so I've decided to disable them for now anyway. I may um, enable them in the future, but right now it's just too much uh, spam and bots and negative petty comments. So, okay, but I do appreciate all the positive comments that have been left. So, okay, let's take that one. All right. All right. And uh, even people saying I talk too much. I'm like, um, it's tarot. And so I put the cards out and not talk. I'm like, I, I don't get it. People, why are you complaining about free readings? <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's see. Let's get this person's spirit and soul energy for you. Taurus, singles, a new love, for the collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. What is this person's spirit and soul energy like? I just want one. Taurus. Spirit, please. Thank you. Mm -mm, take that one. And let's get their love energy. The Romance Angels. For the Taurus Singles. Taurus Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. What is this person's love energy like? For Taurus, please. Thank you so much. For the Taurus Collective, singles, new love. What is this person's love energy? All right. Oh, okay. So we'll take that one. All right. Let's see what we have, Taurus. What is this person? Who are they? We have seeing, perspective, truth, knowledge, and clarity. We have 37 there, which is about uh, 10, which is about completions, endings, closures. But then there's always a new beginning. So I feel with this person, you know, purple to me is always a color of manifestation. But I feel like this person um, sees everything from every perspective. Um, they want to know the truth, you know, enlightenment seeing all aspects of everything, uh, gaining all the knowledge they can before they end something or terminate something or move on from something or move on to something new. Um, also, they want to have, you know, a very uh, clear energy here, clarity on a situation. They want to know every, everything there, uh, there is to know before they either start something new or they end something or they go in a new direction. 
They could be very insightful. They could be very wise. They could be um, intuitive also. Uh, they trust their inner, inner guidance, I feel, also. I th feel like they see everything, like they pay attention to everything at all times around them. You know, they just don't turn the blind eye and kind of ignore things either. Um, you know, people say, oh, I didn't see, I didn't notice. You know, they don't pay attention. I think this person really pays attention to everything going on there, around them, no matter what it is, kind of energy. All right, so let's see. I don't think you'd be able to get anything past this person. <laughs> I don't think that would happen. I think they would know better. So we have a speaker here. Your life purpose involves your skills of orient oration. I was going to say orientation. So they could be a public speaker in some way, shape, or form. They could even be into politics or something like that. Or like um, something where they have to speak. So they could be like a newscaster. Or they could, they could even have their own YouTube channel. Or they could be into politics. Or they could be like a motivational speaker. But definitely here, whatever they do um, involves needing to get it, getting up at the podium and speaking in some way, shape, or form. Could even be, you know, a college professor or something like that. So, yeah, I think this person, whatever they also do in their life, they have to know all the facts before they just speak on them. They have to know exactly what they're talking about also. So this person definitely knows what they're talking When they speak, they know what they're talking about. Oh, okay. And we have here forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So whatever they've been through in the past, they've forgiven, they learned their lessons, um, they released it, and now they're ready to experience new love, new things in their life. They see that they've seen what you know what their past was and they know the mistakes, they know the regrets, they know the lessons, the forgiving, the learning, the healing, the peace, the harmony. And they're ready, you know, they released it and they're ready now to move on to something new, new love. Oh, okay. And they could have been married, they could be divorced, or they just could have been, you know, in a long-term relationship here. All right. So, and you know, I did see 37 there. 10 is about completions. So I feel like uh, they're ready for something new. All right, so let's clarify this energy for you, Taurus. So I, I feel like this person, person um, they're never at a loss for words. They are very smart when they speak. Um, they never trip on their word. Well, I don't want to say never, but... Um, you know, very, very rarely do you see them mumbling up or um, their words, um, you know, mixing their words or anything like that. I think they their verbal skills are, like, exceptional. That's why they probably do it for a living. All right, so let's see here. Let's get more clarification on this person for you. So, yeah, I feel like they're ready for something new, long-term, stable energy here. Something more stable. Maybe their past wasn't so stable. And you see, like, this is a divinely guided energy. Like, they see they see that there's something more stable out there for them. Seven of Wands. So this is a defensive energy, you know, on guard. So let's get, let's get all their energy first. So Three of Wands. So manifesting and their ship, manifesting their ships to dock up at their shore. All right, let's see. Two of Wands being at a crossroads. Energy here. Let's get another one here. King of Wands, so they could be a Leo. Energy, let's get one more. Get about six. And then we'll piece it all together. So yeah, this is someone's very fiery, passionate. You know, go-getter go, goes after what they want. They could... Um, They could be a speaker, but somehow they work for themselves. It could be an entrepreneur in some way, shape, or form. Again, it could be like a motivational speaker or something like that. All right, let's see. Two of Cups, yeah, and I felt that. They're ready for their new Two of Cups. Wow. So I feel like 
Yeah, so I feel like this person, they're very fiery, passionate. They go after what they want. They could be an entrepreneur. Um, you know, the strong, the stable, fiery. And they're now in search. They're, they want to manifest to them a true soulmate, two of cups. You know, maybe they were a little defensive on guard, you know, about relationships for a while here. Until they had to do their, you know, journey work, you know, healing, forgiving, and learning, and lessons, and blessings, and all that kind of energy. Which now they're looking out into the world in a new light and say, you know what, I think I'm ready to have a true love, a true soulmate. That's divinely guided to me with the Ace of Pentacles. And this could be, you know, them starting their own business, working from themselves, being an entrepreneur in that King of Wands energy. But they're blocking off something here. The um, Seven of Wands can be about being defensive or defending or standing up for themselves. Maybe they had to stand up for themselves in a past relationship or something like that. Or they're, they're, just, they're just defending themselves in some way, shape, or form. I don't think they're afraid to stand up for what they believe in either. That's kind of what I'm getting with that. They stand firm in their beliefs, their knowledge, their perspectives. Although they, you know, like to see the broad scope and picture and learn everything they need to learn. Because they definitely need to know what they're talking about when they speak. But they stand firmly in what they believe in also. Alright, so let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see how you would feel about this person, Taurus. Well, we got the Nine of Cups energy. Let's get a few more. The Knight of Pentacle energy. So that could be uh, Taurus. And that's you. <laughs> that's you, Taurus. In the Four of Cups. So you may be happy and single on your own, you know, Going out, having a good time, be careful of overindulgence. You may meet them like out at a, because here's a drink. They may buy you a drink, um, like, hey, hey, here's a drink. And you're like, no, I don't want it. So, you know, <laughs> they're very stable and secure, you know, you know, being, they're careful and cautious, but they're like, you know, here's a drink. Can I buy you a drink? The drink is here. The drink is here. And you're just sitting like, no, yeah, uh, I don't know. Yeah, no. And, uh. They're very stable here, so they're wanting to offer you this. You know, they may see you from afar and say, oh, who's that person? Let me offer them something here. Let's see where this goes. Slowly, slowly making their way over and offering you offering you a drink or something. But you're like, I don't know. You're like turning away like, yeah, yeah, mm, I don't know. <laughs> okay. But, you know, the Nine of Cups can be about wishes and dreams coming true. So maybe you're a little shy. I don't know. You may you may see them also and be like, oh, wow, look at that person. You know, they're like, my wish, my dream come true. Somebody I always dreamed of. And then when they finally come over and either buy you a drink or offer you something, maybe you're scared or a little shy and you're kind of like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And like refusing it, but not really wanting to for some reason. Kind of like afraid to accept it. All right. So, or this could be you going up to them and offering and they're like, yeah, I don't know. But I feel like they're an energy here of, you know, wanting, you know, a soulmate, true love. So let's see how you, well, that's you, how they would feel about you. So let's see how they would feel about you, Taurus. Wow, so we have... The Two of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and Justice. So we have Sag, Sagittarius, Libra. I think you're going to catch them off guard, and they're going to feel a little like... Uh, like... <laughs> Like mixed feelings here. Like, wow, who's this person? Who's that over there? And feeling like taken by surprise. Like feeling attracted to you, and like drawn to you, and like... Who is that, you know? But we have divinely guided energy here with the Wheel of Fortune, fate, destiny, divine timing, something coming in that's meant to be. And we have justice here. So, I mean, they could have been divorced. They could have been divorced. And maybe they're, you know, they're wanting the Two of Cups, but they're still inside, still a little mixed up and, you know, 
thinking they want wanting are wanting it, ready for it, but then when they see you, they're like, okay, now I'm not so sure. But this seems like something that's divinely guided, meant to be. But justice here, you know, truth, clarity, scales, balance, scales balancing out. See, I can't even talk, so this person's going to be... There's somebody here who <laughs> has never had a loss for words, who is very good at verbally speaking, but now when they are around your energy, when they meet you, they can't speak. <laughs> so I'm Because, look, they're all mixed up with the Two of Pentacles energy. But divine clarity, divine justice, getting justice, serving justice. Here with the, the justice card, Libra energy here. So I feel like, you know, and the Wheel of Fortune can be like the karmic wheel. So it's like their karmic wheel has finally turned. They're free from that. And now here you come. And now they're like all mixed up and like crazy. Like who is this person? Divinely guided energy here with the Wheel of Fortune. So, uh, yeah, I feel like here, I mean, you could approach them and then they're like, oh, not so sure or vice versa here. But somebody's going to approach somebody and the other one's going to be like, I um, uh, I don't know, I'm not so sure. But there's going to be, you know, some sort of attraction or drawn to each other in some way. Like a magnetic wheel here, like you're just going to be drawn to each other. Um, like I said, it could be, you know, like out having a drink or at a bar or some kind of social setting. Or something like that. So maybe something near water. I'm getting fall, summer to fall energy. Heavy summer to fall. All right, it could be daytime. I love the daytime energy here. So it could be some, you know going out in the afternoon or something. It could be like an outside uh, place where you can. Uh, what do you call it? I'm gonna have a drink outside. Like a terrace or something like that. All right, so let's see here. Um, blocks, challenges, and this connection for you, Taurus. Judgment, yeah, you need to make a decision about this. Now we have Scorpio. Seven of Cups, confusion. Eight of Cups, walking away. The star. Aquarius, divinely guided energy, as with the wheel over here. And I had felt that they're going to feel like, you know, but then they may be like, well, um, I'm happy and single on my own. I thought I wanted a soulmate, my person, and now I'm like scared to death of this. It's kind of what I feel. Thought I was ready. Thought I wanted this. So magician here, uh, manifesting a whole new beginning. So we have Scorpio now, Aquarius. Gemini Virgo. So, blocks challenges here is being confused, maybe walking away, running away because you're scared. So there may be fear energy here, which may cause you know fleeing, somebody fleeing because of fear, being scared, confused, but needing to make a judgment call here, a decision. Judgment here again is about that healing and forgiving. You know, so again. That's a past energy over here. So can we forgive? We've learned our lessons of the past. We've healed. We forgive. Needs to stay in the past here so we can move on to something new. And this is bringing soulmates back together with the uh, judgment card. Or soulmates could have past lives together, bringing them back together. But if we can make that final decision and judgment call, come out of this confused energy, you know, and not run out of fear or being scared, and realize it's a very divinely guided energy with the star energy again in the wheel. Faith, hope, optimism need to be more in that energy. Wishes and dreams coming true because we do have that over here too and now more on their side. So you both are each other's wish and dream come true. If we get in that energy and being more hopeful and optimistic. But... We have the Knight of Pentacles, very single, independent energy. So some may feel here, you know, I'm just good on my own. I'm just going to stay single. I'm secure. I'm grounded. I have everything I need. I can take care of myself. I don't need anybody. And then there may be a block here to manifest this brand new beginning between two here with the Magician. Because there is truth, clarity, stability, love, passion here. But being stubborn here with the Knight of Pentacles and... 
kind of, you know, I'm just going to stay single. But it's too bad here because we do have divinely guided soulmate energy here with judgment, the star, the wheel. Nine of cups, two of cups, justice. All right, I feel like here uh, they, I think, thought they were ready. And then once they meet somebody that they feel the such magnetic pull towards scares the daylights out of them. Oh, okay. And you, I don't know, you may feel the same way. All right, so I feel like you're both going to feel the same way. So you both could have been in the energy of thinking you're ready to get your wish to dream come true, your person, and then when it happens, you're like <laughs> both like scared to death and like run, <laughs> run out of fear. All right, so let's see. Uh, let's get a possible outcome for this. Knight of Wands could be uh, Sagittarius energy, the world. So we've got fixed energy here with Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. The Fool, Aquarius. The Six of Wands. The Four of Pentacles. Oh, we got the lovers here, Gemini. So I feel here that there's going to be energy here of not being able to deny the strong, strong connection with this person, this magnetic pull, because we have the lovers here, which is soulmate twin flame energy. I'm getting more of it like a soulmate. It could be twin flame, but there is a leap of faith here, starting over, starting fresh, starting new. So it's interesting we have the world, and right after the world comes the fool. So now we got the knight of wands of being very fiery, passionate, go-getter, going after what you want kind of energy, moving forward. Or the knight of wands can be like that in and out, in and out energy, but it's now facing the opposite direction. So we're either going to eliminate that energy of being in and out kind of energy, because the world is about closing chapters and cycles and starting new chapters and cycles, having the fresh start with the full energy. So we're, either there's going to be an ending of the in and out, and now we're going to start over, start fresh, start new, take a leap of faith here to what success and victory here, offer here with the uh, wreath on the wand. So it could be, you know, let's date more, let's, you know, see where this goes kind of energy. And then you get the energy of the four of pentacles. Like, okay, once you're really with this person, get to know them. You know, four pentacles can be slow, stable, grounded, um, taking it slow, but also energy of not wanting to let go because this is <laughs> soulmate energy here with the lovers. Strong, strong connection here. Not wanting to let each other go, being very successful. After completing a cycle, let's leave the past in the past. Let's take a fresh stop here, see what this goes. No more in and out energy here of like coming in, going, ghosting, whatever, running. No more of that. Let's have a fresh start. Wow. So let's get some energy on the bottom of the deck. Oh, I'm going to take that one. Yeah, so moving forward uh, quickly here with the Knight of Swords energy here. So we have Aquarius again. So now we're working on it. Rushing in and, okay, deciding to work on it here with the Three of Pentacles teamwork. Taking it slow, practical, wise, high priestess, so cancer energy here, uh, Pisces, listening to gut intuition, higher knowing. Uh, can be um, for a while here, maybe there was no communication, the high priestess doesn't really communicate, but then rushing in and okay, let's work on it, see where it goes, because there is a lot of love here with the King of Cups, may not be professing the love right away, because the King of Cups doesn't always say how they truly feel, it can be Pisces again. But I feel like Seven of Swords, you know, there was self-deceit, you know, again, that running, you know, turning back, running out of fear, you know, just trying to get out of this connection. But something always pulls back, I feel, because there is love and emotions here. And divinely guided, brand new beginning in love with the Ace of Cups energy. Let's see what else is down there. So that's what I feel here. Brand new beginning, divinely guided in love here with the Ace of Cups can't run from it. Can't run from this love any longer. Though we have the love here, may not say it right away, as with the High Priestess, but we're definitely going to rush in and work on it, take it slow, and see where it goes. 
Taurus. Wow. All right, Taurus, that was your singles reading. So I do see a soulmate here, and I feel like we have two people here that think they're ready for it, and then when it comes and there's a strong, intense connection, they out of fear um, and being just scared, run, but then they just can't deny the um, magnetic pull here between two. Finally decide to come together, work it out, and see where it goes. That brain will be any in love. Okay, Taurus, um, and also leaving the past in the pa past and starting new and starting fresh. Okay, uh, Taurus, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, it's to always, always shine your light.